all over here at the Bob Lucas Stadium, home of Weymouth Town. Gary, we said on Saturday that it was going to be a huge game coming here against Weymouth and the boys have come up absolute dividends and given you a 1-0 win tonight. Yeah, look, I think we say it every week that every game is going to be important. I think, you know, every game will be important until the end of the season. So, yeah, really, really important win tonight. Um, and, and yeah, really, really pleased that we, we defended so, you know, resolutely when we needed to. But it was, uh, like I said, I think more so than anything, it was, it was a fairly comfortable 1-0 one, one, one really. And um, like I said, I think, yeah, yeah, look, please, please with the result. You said, ironically, we were both having a little chinwag there before the camera got turned on that we said in probably the last sort of 10 or 12 games where we've been maybe drawing too many games and maybe not getting the rub of the green. This is arguably one of the maybe the weakest performances, but the result is the main thing tonight. Yeah, strange. Um, probably the worst we played in, in, in the last 10 games. Um, didn't really keep the ball that well, um, apart from the second half. And then in the first half, when, when, you, when you, I think we score from a corner, I think the ball's at least a yard over the line um, it's difficult to say obviously I haven't got the greatest vantage point but I don't think the linesman's in, in view and he's looking through loads of bodies um, but everybody's reaction tended to suggest it was a goal and then, then you're thinking to yourself oh here we go again um, you know not necessarily getting the rubber to green but um, but yeah look today I think we had luck in parts um, and could have made the game safe second half with sort of like four or five other really good opportunities I think we squandered um, but look today we, we, we I'm going to say hung on we didn't hang on like I said I think we were we were fairly comfortable and um, yeah look a really really good win I suppose we'll talk about the main talking point of course the goal that separated the two sides it was Luke Russ with an absolute wonder strike some 25-30 yards away um, you know, for, for weeks and weeks we've been telling a Russy shoot 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 um, it's not quite done so and I think you come on a little bit of a Josh about whether you know if he could shoot he'd get 10 or 12 of them a season but tonight it was the right place right time and it was nestled straight in the top corner and in the end was the decisive split between you and Weymouth yeah like I said I think the biggest difference not necessarily tonight is because we haven't taken our chances obviously because we've created more than than the 1-0 scoreline suggests but we've almost had a, some, some of the stuff that hasn't been going our way like say some of the chances that we just haven't you know we failed to score in in over 20 shots on on, on, on Saturday to start with um, you know we had to to rely on a late comeback there and um yeah, look, when we have loads of controlled possession at times, we managed to work some really good shooting opportunities for both both Tom and, and Luke. And uh, you know the difference being tonight, one of those flies in, flies in the top corner, and that's what you need. Sometimes you need a, a goal out of not necessarily out of nothing, because like I said, I think we were we were um, we were good for it. But um, yeah, sometimes you need that sort of little bit of uh, that luck that's kind of sort of deserted you in front of goal. And today, you know, he's managed to stick one in the top corner. Fair play to him. And um, there's various different words in football that are used to describe the uh, the end to the second half. Seven minutes added time, Gary. Some call it game management. Some can call it time wasting. But when you're on the right hand of the scoreline, it's definitely the uh, the former. Great game management for the boys to see out seven minutes. I think you know, I was up there on the commentary booth, and in all fairness, I don't think in that seven minutes Weymouth even came into our half. Uh, no, and, and, and that was pleasing to see, particularly after after Hemel Hemel away, where we we were we were brilliant for 93 minutes. Um, you know, created numerous chances, should have won the game, won the game comfortably, had plenty of possession, and then um, you know we, we 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 make a poor decision with 30 seconds to go, which costs us you know it costs us two points. Um, so it was really good to see that out today and see it out fairly comfortably, because um, like I say, they they given their position, they're they're not a bad side at all. Um, they ask lots of questions of you. They've got lots of lots of pace within the team, and they just keep you know they keep making it difficult for you. And they're, they're a really good side as the all of all of Bobby's sides do. So um, yeah, look, that's a that's a brilliant brilliant away point uh, away performance and uh, a brilliant away result. And um, obviously we now lose Spencer Hamilton for three games. It's a shame obviously to see him go out to suspension. But news broke obviously shortly before you arrived today that you got the, uh, the clearance on the transfer of Sam Hill. Um, Sam's come in, I believe, from Bristol Rovers. He's got a bit of experience playing for Salisbury. Obviously the Rovers Academy where he's played with Mayhew. He's played with Russ. He knows the boys. Um, we don't know a great deal about him. Gaz, I'm sure you've done your due diligence. Can you tell us a little bit more about your new signing? Yeah, look, Sam, Sam was um, released from, from Bristol Rovers at, at, at Christmas and... Um, there doesn't seem to be an abundance of, of left-footed or you know, left-footed players in, in Bristol, to be honest. So uh, we, we've been making, not necessarily making do with with Will King. He's been brilliant for us, Will, but he, he's a midfielder by trade. Um, and you know, Sam was someone that we knew about and looked at in pre-season. Um, I want to watch him um, play for Rovers at, at Melksham. Um, 
and because of Will's emergence we probably was something that we didn't really necessarily sort of follow up and we knew Sam hadn't really sort of fixed himself up and um, so yeah look Will's out for a while and, and, and we sort of you know said to Sam come and you know come and help us out not help us out to the end of the season look we you know, we, we we want him to come in. We come want him to be the here. madness. Yeah, so look, fair play to him. I, I had him warming up for about the thirtieth minute today because we were we were struggling with with a couple of sort of niggles and strains as you do when you hit this sort of time and schedule this year. But um, yeah, look, he's 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 a he's a good. He's um, like I said, he's a good, he's a good fullback. Um, you know, he's he's someone who, who's played on the wing um, before, so you know, look, he will give us that little bit more from from these areas where we've been we've been getting into, and sometimes we have to turn back in on a on a weaker foot. You know, with Eddie playing out there, has to turn back in on his right hand side and um, gives you know the opposition a chance to get back in. So hopefully, just gives us a natural bit of left. Um, you know, someone down the left-hand side to, to, to swing a different type of crossing for us. So yeah, look, we're really pleased to, to get it done. And um, like I said, I'm hopeful that, um, like I say, in the next couple of weeks, we'll see a lot more of him. Good stuff. And Gary, obviously, as is the Chippenham way, we've gone away tonight in a difficult position. Got three points, and uh, all the teams that we needed to sort of maybe slip up around us in terms of getting out of the relegation zone have gone and banked themselves good wins tonight. Chesson have beaten Dover. Um, Hampton and Richmond have turned over Taunton, which means that we stay in the relegation zone. However. Saturday, it's Dover. It's another chance. We've got games coming thick and fast at the Thornbury surface in Stadium. I'm, I'm sure that this is going to be no different to tonight. You're going to really need to put in a big performance from the boys to take something not only off of Dover, but to really make the Thornbury surface in Stadium a fortress as you look to capitalise on a great unbeaten run at the moment of seven games. Yeah, look, we'll, we'll need to rest people up and, and recover for Saturday. But, you know, that's why I said, I say it all along. I know it's cliches, but we can only worry about ourselves, really. So that's why it was a really, really important win tonight because everybody's, everybody else has won around us. And that's why I say I think it will go right to the wire because, you know, at this point in the season, the team's down the bottom. Unless somebody puts a real, real strong run together, they'll, they'll you know, they're down, the re they're down the bottom because they've been inconsistent. Um, and you know, hopefully a few more get sucked back into it, and you manage to pick up that, find that consistency. But yeah, look, you know, the teams down the bottom will be up and down, up and down. Um, so yeah, look, we know that, that that such is football, and it's been that sort of nature of the the season for us this year. That um, yeah, we know that um, we need to produce like that or certainly the results, uh, maybe not so much the performance, but it was a different kind of performance today, which was, which was really pleasing. But we need to do that week in, week out. And as such as the nature of the beast in football management and in football clubs in general, Gaz, you know, a lot of you know, comments and things around certain aspects and everyone's a football manager and everyone thinks they know best and uh, you know, all these sort of social media posts giving a lot of people opinions these days. But tonight it didn't seem as if there was a single person that wasn't united behind Chippen Town Football Club. A great show and about 40, 50 lads behind the goal there. And there was no doubt where the players felt they needed to be celebrating at the end of the game. Yeah, look, uh, again, look, thanks to, to all the travelling fans tonight. They made you know a fair bit of noise, and, and certainly in that second half when we were we were sort of I want to say marauding forward. Maybe I'm a bit ambitious with that, but you know when we were when we were certainly looking for that second goal, um, you know they, they they made you know loads and loads of noise, and you could hear them at the end. Um, but yeah, look, we only worry about what we we can do as a group. Um, it's nice to have the fans. It's certainly nice to have them on side, and they you know they are. Um, so look, we'll continue to, to, to fight for everything with, with the fans but you, you can see from the performances like that in the last seven games if you look at some of the performances you know the Ebbs Fleet one and um, a couple of others that, that are smattered in there this is, this is a group that you know are fighting and fighting for the shirt and you know and hopefully the fans do see that I know sometimes they might think you know sometimes it's a little bit lacklustre um, but that's that's not the case sometimes there's two teams out there and they're, they're trying to stop you play the game as well so uh, we we uh, we, we, we've come up trumps tonight in terms of getting a result in a, in a really um, a really crucial game and we need to follow that up on Saturday. Yeah, we certainly do. Uh, Dover on Saturday. Gary, of course, you'll be there. We'll be there with you. Last time out against Dover, a hard-earned one-all draw away at their place. It was a game where you know we really, really did go toe-to-toe -to -toe with our uh, with our rivals from down on the uh, down on the coast. But I'm um, sure it's one to look forward to and hopefully with it being at home, got to feel confident now moving into the game, not only after a win tonight, but seven unbeaten. Yeah, it was another game there. That, you know that we, we dominated a lot of possession and, and we're winding up. And um, in the end, we've we've been undone with a bit of physicality from from a number of just sort of like long throws and long ball. And I felt on that day, I said it then, we didn't show enough bravery in in keeping the ball at times um, because that allowed them to to play off little second balls and bits and pieces where you know we should have been a, a bit braver. But look, I, I felt we were well worth three points at, at Dover, which is a really really tricky place there. Um, I'm sure they'll think that they they deserved other. So. Um, that, yeah, another tough game coming coming Saturday. They'll they'll travel up looking to to get three points as well. And um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, we can give some 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 you know some 
find something to cheer at home. Good stuff. Well, Gary, there's a bar up there with a pint with your name waiting on it. I think there's probably about 40 people behind the goal, about six people strong in your board of directors and about 15 in your playing squad that are looking at buying you a beer before you get back on the coach tonight. So I hope your liver's in good health. Gary, well done tonight. 1-0 win for Chippenham and we'll see you on Saturday against Dover. Cheers. Perfect.